Yes. No, just said right. Nice right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Amarnacon 27. <laughs> Yay! They said it wouldn't happen. Most of them were on the committee. Yay! You idiots. <laughs> Quite right too. So, uh, number one, welcome. That's it. Welcome. Um, to welcome up to some of our guests. Uh, stand up, Liesl. Right to it. Liesl Schwartz. We actually have guests at the opening ceremony. So, please go and sit. I'm sure you've all read all of your literature we've given you. No. No, no. To be fair, if you're going to read one, read the little one. Oh, programming. Yay. The big one is for taking home and loving and caressing. So, so the little one is the work of fiction and the big one is the factual. Uh, <laughs> not quite, and I'll explain in a minute why. So, um, Andrew Lawton, the Jedi guy, is on his way. He's on a train somewhere. In fact, he should be coming into Plymouth in about 10 minutes if the train company are on time. So, probably <laughs> 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 See, I told you I knew a joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I guess they all may not exist. Right, I guess, I know, but do our exist. Dreamcatcher Theatre! Um, and of course, tomorrow we have Adam Hart Davis. Yes. Yay! Not tomorrow, At some point in the future, Adam Hart Davis and his wife, Sue Blackmore. Yay! Yay! Sue Blackmore. She used to be a parapsychologist. <laughs> She's all right now. She's all right now. She's got it. <laughs> The best thing is, outside the committee, only the committee know this, is Liz contacted Adam, I contacted Sue, and about two months before the convention, I had an email from uh, their PA, who I'd been dealing with Sue, because Sue doesn't do emails anymore, and said, you've booked both Adam and Sue, did you realise? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we sat down and had a diary session, we suddenly realised they're both going to the same convention. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, they will be here on Sunday. And to quote the ball, and thus it begins. And because, <laughs> and because it's 10 o'clock in the morning, she's talking about out of body experiences, which most of you have on Saturday. <laughs> right, uh, programme for today. Um, as soon as I stop talking and you've had time to, to refresh your drinks. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> she said it to me. <laughs> so, um, at the other end, we're going to circle the chairs and do a Marnicon Unplugged, and then I believe at 9.30ish, uh, probably about 11 o'clock at this rate, um, Dreamcatcher will be doing the thing on the doorstep, I believe. Yes. It's, it's not a full drama, drama, I believe it's a read-through. It's a rehearsal. 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 Get to see the creative juices flowing from the actors. So basically, they just screw it up a lot and they just say, yeah, why don't we just do it a Oh dear, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Yes. Okay, um, don't forget, there is gaming going on. There's role playing, there's board gaming. Uh, go and enjoy it. Um, tomorrow, a reasonably late start. Um, Oh no, 9.30. This one has to get up early. Yay! Yeah. 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 Then we do an Andrew lunch auction. Bring us some money. Uh, tea Julie. Tea Julie is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. uh, possibly. We'll sit down tomorrow. Uh, Earth versus the Martians. Yeah. So it should be interesting. Uh, science panel, I'm going to electrocute Issa. Now, in the evening, uh, we've got some live role playing. Ross and David are doing some live role playing. It's parlor tag. Uh, go along to see them. You've still got spaces. You yeah. have five places left. Five places left. Um, have some fun. It's going to be good. Uh, so they tell me. Right. Um, oh, Jedi training. 
And, uh, assuming Andrew's train never arrives, because he may or may not be. Use the force. Trolling uh, as Jedi. Um, I find your lack of faith disturbing. As well as his power. <laughs> <laughs> as well as his power. Kev, Kev, lack of trousers is more disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Dave. Um, uh, he's got three, three Jedi training sessions. Uh, we've got spaces in all of them. In fact, I don't think the 930 is taken at all, because nobody wants to do it. Now. Funny enough. Uh, but we've got a few spaces left in the 2.30 and the 4 o'clock sessions. So you can sign up. Okay, it's fine. But if he's if Rob's and his son, he won't be up to a happy day. Oh, this is four o'clock. Yeah, this is four o'clock. Don't worry. Um, Andrew Lordman um, was a stuntman on, I believe, Fat No Men's. Um, uh, so he's trained how to fight in the style of the Jedi. So now he goes around and teaches people. It's about an hour. Learning how to fight. Yeah, it's an hour with some prep, choosing equipment, and then he teaches you. He's also no, 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 no. Surprisingly, uh, he'll just pick you up and float you across the room. Um, he's also serving some lightsabers. I don't know how much at the moment, but um, so yeah, we'll find out when he turns up. Um, right. Do you remember? Somebody said that the no, book, book, A4 book, book was the real thing, uh, not a work of fiction. One, two, three, is it yes, quite true? It to you. Because we, it. we made a mistake. Um, Never. Oh. You may have noticed on the back of the big one, yeah, out, yeah. we have a new logo for next year. Because it's 50 this years of Star Trek. Yeah. Right? But we have five options of which all you want. But what's Gary going to wear next year? So you have your hat. Not with my legs. Um, you have a pack. Uh, you have a votive fork in your pack. Please hand it into reception. Come to the closing ceremony. We'll add them all up. The mistake, by the way, is we've mixed up Voyager and Deep Space Nine. But the poster, I mention this now because I know who pedantic fans are. But if you look around this room, there are posters. They are correct. They're also, where are the others, Issa? Where are the other posters? No, outside. 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 So, choose your uniform. Just vote for the picture. Don't worry about the name. Just vote for the picture that you want. We'll collect it up and the closing ceremony will announce what our walk is going to be wearing next year. Well, that to me. Oh, like, yeah. No, the orc's name's Gary. Oh, to be fair, for those of you who were here last year, there was... Uh, because there was a conspiracy, because when they named the York Gary, the idea was that they were going to dress me up as Alice Ford. Unfortunately, oh, I'm so upset, Chris and Jenny didn't have time to do the costumes and these prosthetics. So, oh well, you missed it now. Well, don't worry, it's a So, please vote for the York. You can wear the blonde wig, just need the coffee ball. Okay, so choose your role. Um, also, meal forms. For those of you who survived through to the end, we've got the meal forms for Sunday evening. Please fill them in. This year, um, because we didn't get up and get your own food, and actually it worked quite well, we're doing it again. So read the bottom of the form. It's basically sit where you like within the allocated area and go up and get your food to take your little card. As you walk into the, red, um, to the restaurant, somebody will hand you a card with your name on it and your choice will on the back. We're going to do it that way. It's easier for us. It's easier for them. We don't spend five hours trying to do um, a seasonal plan. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> so you had your hand up. Okay. Right, uh, auction, don't forget, tomorrow we've got the auction. Uh, the Star Trek Risk Communicator is present. Yay! Yay! Refurbished with new jokes. You'll find out, turn up to the auction, you'll find out what that's all about. So, one o'clock, uh, we'll have somebody from St. Luke's. We raised, for those who don't know, just over £1,800 for them last year. Shit. Correction, you raised £1,800 for St. Luke's. Thank you very much. They were so appreciative. So, round of applause. Yay! 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 Yay!
my bar quite high now, so um, good luck with that. Um, Alan. No, no, it's alright, you can sit down now. <laughs> Barry and I don't want you to come up. Oh. Ooh. Some of you may remember the marathon that was called the fan film. Yeah. We're now calling it the five-year mission. Anyway, we're shooting again this year. It's just we didn't uh, manage to get everything completed. Um, it's not a big shoot, but we are. Our scriptwriter came up with our script supervisor. I'm sorry, um, he's a professional. Came up with a. A gag at the end of the film. Because you know, in like Hollywood films, like certainly the Marvel ones, they roll the credits and the end is a little skit. Yeah. So they wrote, they said, right, here's a little skit. So I persuaded Gary and Barry to do the skit. So uh, for those who are interested, and obviously you don't have to be in the film. No, no, you don't want to do it. We're going to be shooting. Oh, yes, we are. We're going to be shooting the close, part of the closing ceremony. We're going to do a little skit for the ending of the film. So we'll have one camera looking at the audience. We'll have two cameras on Barry and Gary. And at the end of the film, um, all of the people in the starship wake up and Gary has to actually keep them entertained. <laughs> Barry! <laughs> and Barry, who was the entertainer's officer trying to entertain them during their long voyage while they were in stasis, uh, is also trying to keep them entertained. So basically, uh, for those who want to, you will all get to, you'll all, you'll all get to soft, throw a large number of soft, small balls. balls. We have hundreds. Yeah. We have a bag of so, um, balls. Yeah. <laughs> Gary's going to entertain you, and when you when we when you realise how bad it is, you all go shout boo and stuff, and you'll throw lots of soft toys. Barry. Barry, I'm allowed to go for the Armstrong whip with a pounder. I'm not doing. <laughs> I'm not doing any freaking retakes. I was going to say, how many retakes have we allowed to do? Now, yeah. Yeah. Now, the other good news. The other good news. How many soft items do we get a person? Yeah. We bring our own. Nothing heavy. Um, <laughs> the other good news. The other good news is that um, Barry has kindly offered to auction at the auction tomorrow. Uh, for anybody to or to uh, bid on doing his makeup, he has to look his his face. He has to look like a clown. So we have to, we, no, have, no, we, we have a choice of wigs and noses, but somebody's going to get to bid on doing his makeup tomorrow. Uh, we hope you'll take him good face, and he'll get to make Barry up as a clown face, uh, and he'll be wearing his normal costume that's in the film. Uh, and uh, you get to throw soft balls at him too. Isn't that a bonus? So there you go. Oh, and by the way, we'll be showing the trainer and the closing ceremony tomorrow. Thank you very much, Alan. So, um, I'm going through my mind what else I forgot. Don't forget, uh, we've got photographer this year. He's up in Dixon's. Hand up, Norman. Uh, he's apparently awesome, so he tells me. <laughs> um, so if you want photograph taken, he's got a very nice range of assorted ways you can have your photograph displayed. Yeah, we can uh, slate on that. Yeah, 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 we've been here slate, I've got only a couple of months of time being. I've got a standard 7x5 print, um, which you get on just a photo shoot. Um, we've got a, a 10x8, a lot of ink print on paper. Then do, we can do these um, canvases and, and on slate. Okay, so have I, forgot, have I forgotten anything else, committee? Cakes. Oh, cakes. Give a sec, you're next. Uh, we've got some Issa slaved over a hot uh, stove, making the little uh, chocolate uh, cornflake type cakes. 50p is for children in need. Plus, there's a handmade chocolate cake by my father. Kind man. For, I think we're talking 50p a slice yep. for that. All for children in need, as it's children need tonight. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Uh, oh, one last thing. Turkey readings. Printer. Yes. What time are we going to throw balls at that? Uh, the closing ceremony. Well, oh, it's the closing ceremony. Renter. So, one weekend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bollocks. One last thing no is. Balls. Don't forget. 
Register for next year's Amadacon, Amadacon 28. Uh, we are, if you notice the date, a couple of weeks early uh, due to the fact that we were getting late and then somebody booked a wedding. So uh, we need both sides, otherwise, yeah, I know. We were tempted to crash the wedding, so we're going to be in the first weekend in November. So book, book, which is also... David and Heather's 25th wedding anniversary. So we may have to have a special panel item. Surviving living with Heather for 25 years. Marriage, yeah. Well, it's actually just a very second thing. We're going to go away for a while. Something steamy. This is on the 4th. I'll see if I can talk to David when it's first come here. Yeah, it's on the if you say lots of free drinks for him, he'll be the So, um, <coughs> oh yes, Sunday, turkey readings. Mm. It's happening because we've schlepped two boxes of turkey readings. No, so, no, I brought the bag. I oh, have the, the bag. bag. I still want the two boxes. Oh yes, you can keep them. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's yeah. that? Quite, quite. No, forget it. Yes, yeah, quite. Okay. All right, so in about, what, five minutes, kids? Give people time to... At the back, we're going to do a Mardicon Unplugged. A chance for us to sit in a circle, do some readings, sing some songs. <coughs> yeah, thank you very much. Enjoy Mardicon! Hooray!